I'm uh, Sunita Ladwig and uh, I'm in the IT uh, area and part of the College of uh, Hospitality and Technology Leadership um, at USF Sarasota Banatee. Uh, my background has been pretty, um, what should I say, um, in the industry. Uh, I was for over 20 years at AT&T Bell Labs and then at Motorola, both in the Chicago area. And so it was quite a transition going from the landline phones to the cell phone business at Motorola. So it was, uh, uh, it was a fascinating, fascinating transition. And especially the 20 plus years I was in the industry, I think it was quite a roller coaster ride given all the changes that we have seen. Um, in telecommunications and well all I can say is that we ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> what interested me really, it was, I think it was a discovery for me to realize that I was, uh, I, I, I could teach uh, and not only I could teach but I could teach uh, quite well, you know like taking difficult concepts and simplifying them. Um, I didn't realize that was, you know, pretty challenging for some people, but, uh, uh, and, and I, I, I loved the rapport with the students, um, and um, even though I went to, uh, to Bell Labs, I knew, you know, one day I would come back to teaching, and in fact, I remember telling my husband at that time that, you know, maybe one of these days when you retire, I will go back to teaching. <laughs> so it took about 20 odd years to get there. <laughs> Uh, the speaker, uh, Klaus Duell, uh, he has been in the area of uh, mobility and security for the last couple of decades, I would, I would say. And, um, you know, one of the things, if you notice, you know, our phones are getting smaller and smaller, our devices are getting smaller and smaller. I mean, even our laptops are now, you know, we have the iPads and all these other gizmos. Um, and, and so, we're going to be conducting more and more business on the fly, on the road, as opposed to being able to sit at a desk and be able to open our laptops and be able to you know, uh, enter all the information. Um, and uh, so the mobility is going to be a way of life down the road. Okay. And then, of course, with all the kind of transactions, you know, credit card numbers and, you know, all, all this uh, uh, protected information which we are going to be putting on the air so to speak uh, that's uh, uh, you know that needs to be secured I mean we are seeing how the hackers are you know working over time and they're really giving us a run for the money uh, these days uh, and so that security is going to be a big issue okay? and uh, so this speaker uh, Klaus he is he is a recognized expert in that area okay? the uh, his company in Germany is one of the leading companies, consulting companies in mobility and security. Um, also, Klaus has been kind of uh, fundamental in setting up a center of excellence at the University of Freiburg, uh, which is like one of the top three universities in Germany. Okay. And this center of excellence, I mean, it, didn't, uh, it wasn't established overnight, but it was kind of built gradually because um, there was a need to make sure that all the students coming to the school, they were on, you know, it was a level playing field for all of them, that they did not have certain skills and everybody needed to have certain basic skills. And today the center of excellence is such that every student who enters a university has to go through those four or five courses which are covered by, the, which are addressed by the Center of Excellence. And I think we do some of that here at, uh, at, at this campus, but we need to do more of that. And so it's going to be quite a learning experience for us. Plus, uh, uh, I think uh, in, in my discussions with Klaus, you know, I'm seeing the uh, difference in perspective. You know, I, I'm very familiar with the education system uh, in, in, in the U.S. I myself had a very British kind of education, and then Klaus talks about the education system in Germany. 
and, and the German way of thinking, the German uh, view on security, the German view on mobility, the German view on where things are going. And, and, and I think that's going to be pretty fascinating to hear those differences, different perspectives. Well, they speak not only of what is going on today, okay, uh, but also uh, they, they, they talk about their vision, they talk about their views on what's coming down the pike. And, and again, like I said earlier, you know, even though I feel that I saw a tremendous change in the last 20 years, but you know, the next five, 10 years, it's going to be a very different world. And, and these, uh, these speakers, they kind of give us a peephole into what those things are, what the world is going to look like. Just last week and earlier this week, I was in Tampa, at the Tampa campus, and, and that's huge. You, you, you feel lost, okay? And here, here I feel like I know everybody. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very in intimate, it's very accessible, um, and um, I think the uh, relationships I've formed with some of the faculty here, uh, some of the students here, uh, those are more I feel those are more meaningful, those are more longer lasting. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, when I say something, I'm heard. Uh, in Tampa, when you say something, it's kind of lost. <laughs>